All right, y'all. Listen, I'm not saying this again. This is a seven for seven run. If I don't, I'm giving somebody a hundred dollars. So expect seven videos this week, okay? So today we're looking at low IQ plays and funny moments over the last three year seasons uh this is from golden hoops link is always in the description this guy puts together some crazy crazy videos so shout out to him we get right into it baby right into it ricky rubio oh this is like a whole scheme from the jazz they're like you know what you're not gonna hit a step back on us because we're gonna guard you from behind and you know what i was gonna say it worked but uh no i got it didn't it didn't it didn't I mean, this is, I don't even know if this is a low IQ play. I think this has to do with like miscommunications on like the X's and O's. He expected him to go there because maybe coach told him to go there, but he didn't go there. So the pass goes over here. All right, let's see what's next. Bradley Beal, Mitty is good. What's the low IQ play? A oh, funny moment. Got some popcorn. Hey, man. Bra hey, the room is out there, Bradley. The room is out there, but I don't know what's going to really happen. Miss shot from Eric Bledsoe. Oh, bro, no. Matthew Delva Dover risking his body. Landed right on top of the commentator. Knocked the headphones off. Knocked the equipment off. Oh, not the mixer. Bro, I know how expensive those mixers can be. Knocked it right off the... Oh, like nothing happened. I mean, we are talking about million-dollar companies here, so that mixer don't really mean much to them. Iggy with the miss dunk. Nope, not with a miss dunk. My fault. I thought it was a miss dunk. It wasn't. It wasn't. James Harden. And one. Okay, I mean, I guess we, we may have different definitions of uh, a funny. But Bobby pulling up on a little mini bike is crazy. Because you know what? It's not even a mini bike. That was a regular ATV. But the man is eight feet tall, so he made it seem small. And y'all know this is a this is a classic moment. I mean, if they call out of bounds here, this series is a little bit different. One of the worst missed calls in recent history, for sure. This stuff's not funny to me. People that run onto the court, that's not funny. It's not. It never has been funny. You think you're 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 so funny. You're just messing up the game for these players and all the other fans. Because now we have to wait to see what's gonna happen until the the security comes and gets you. The game is on pause. Like no, nah, that's never. It's never funny. It is never funny. Miss Dunk there. Jalen sprouts one two. Wait, wait, was the first one him? The first one looked like JT. Yeah, the first one was Jason Tatum. But the commentator said Jalen Brown misses another one. Is this just Kevin Harlan going crazy? Or did Jalen Brown also miss another dunk this game? I think this is just Kevin Harlan going crazy because he does this thing where he mixes up names. Um, he calls people what they're not supposed to be called, but I can't even talk because I do the same thing all the time. Okay, all right. I mean, do your thing. Oh, these are bad times. Look at our lineup. Hold on. Look at the lineup on the court. Ryan Archidiakono, Shaq Harrison, Chandler Hutchison, Jabari Parker, and Cristiano Felicio. These are bad times for a Bulls fan, man. This is just last season, though. Oh. If he hits this, no tacos for the fans, right? And he got fouled. Yeah. Is, is, is my boy Shaq going to hit these free throws? Because, I mean, his name is Shaq, and he shoots like him, like the Shaq that we know and love. You know what I'm saying? So, is he going to hit these free throws? Look at Shaq. Oh, my God. He's going to mess up everybody's time. Good. Good, Lakers fans. Y'all don't deserve these. Yep. And you know why that's funny? Because I'm sure he doesn't care about the tacos. The boys is trying to get his PPG up. You understand know me? Forget the fans and they tacos. I'm here. So I can, instead of averaging three points per game, I'm averaging four. Oh, no. He can't do that. He can't do that. Because now Jimmy Butler's about to get some free calls. Hugging up on the ref like that. Somebody got somebody to call the commissioner. Because that's not right. Double teaming. Chris Paul, Chris Paul, come on, dog. Luckily for y'all, I think actually I do think they lost one game in that series. You just have a Chris Paul montage moment. What are you doing? 
I mean, he ended up winning. He ended up winning the jump ball. So apparently, he doing something right. Clay Thompson, like, bro, get out of here, bro. This is the man that speaks for all of us with the commissioner. <laughs> James Harden missed dunk. Ah, a lot of these are playoff moments, which is funny. Al Farouk, no good. Jamal Murray, one second to go. What did I miss? What did I miss? Here's Jokic. Okay. Jokic behind the back. Four, three in the win. Oh, the fact that this game went to so many overtimes. Got you. Got you. Yeah, this is one of the one of the greatest games, playoff games ever. As far as like how intense it was, how close it was for the entire thing, man. This game was like four hours long with commercials and stuff. Commercials and free throws. Like one of the longest games ever. And if it wasn't, I'm pretty sure it was Rodney Hood came off the bench in the second overtime, and he was just really, really good. Rodney Hood. No one cares until I put on the mask. Oh, that's, that's funny. Right? Right, Joel? I miss watching Joel play basketball, though. Let's, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Lance Stevenson hit the three. You know he got a little shimmy to him. Oh, he playing the guitar? If you want to talk about funny moments, funny celebrations, you got to have a bunch of Lance Stevenson. Always hooping in the Jordans, bro. I respect Lance for that. He never switched up on him. You know what? That's not true. Because he had a shoe deal for a little bit. And I think it was with, like, and one. I'm pretty sure Lance Stevenson said to, like, and one. And then after that, he was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to my Jordans. I'm going to hoop in some nines, some tens, some sevens. You know, he always had the nice numbers, man. Michael B. Easy B. Easy don't even got his shorts on. Oh, man. But he's back, you know what I'm saying? He, he just missed a little bit of his PT. Kind of messed up the team rotation a little bit. But you know what? He got out there and he's fine. I'm going to have to watch a montage of uh, Bully Boogie. You know what I'm saying? Like when he was in Sacramento. We was in Sacramento because he had his moments, bro. High hair Boogie. High hair boogie was like this all the time. But the last couple seasons, he hasn't really been a high hair. But you know what? High hair boogie, the interviews where he put up like 50 points and then like 30 rebounds or something crazy like that. And, and he was on national TV doing it. Beautiful times. Steph Curry misses the reverse layup. Oh, that's the whole clip? I mean, I know that all too well. I know that all too well. Wiggs doesn't have his jersey on. Sheesh. And that's the that's the sexy jersey, too. The sexy purple rain jersey. Yes, sir. Those jerseys are nice. I have the alternate version of that jersey at Derrick Rose, you know what I'm saying? Look at that big old smile from Wiggs. Back to Joel. That's just a turnover. That's just a turn. Oh, this is the game where he has zero points, isn't it? Bro, that be a star player in the league and put up nothing, no free throws, no made baskets, zero points is, is crazy. Let's put up zero points is crazy, bro. For, for any, any starter player, but especially for a go-to guy like him. Look at that stat line, 27-7-9. Hmm. Russell Westbrook talking to that little fan. Little fan says something. Uh-oh. Did he have a Thunder hoodie on? No, he had a Nuggets hoodie on. So he had to say something. Oh, he touched him. Yeah, yeah. Russell Westbrook is always at this thing where the fans are like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like your toy. You can't just touch me. You can't say whatever you want to me. You know what? I agree with them, bro. And this cost them this game. You see they up by a lot, right? They took that two points off the board because they thought he missed. And then the Rockets blew that lead. The Rockets blew that lead, y'all. And they end up losing that game. Even though the ball did go in and it like wrapped twice. Chris Paul, Kenneth Fareed. I was just talking about Kenneth Fareed on my main channel the other day. Bro, Kenneth Fareed had a decent 20, 30 games with the, uh, the Houston Rockets. But the funny moment with this is the fact that Draymond gets injured and Steve Kerr doesn't notice him for the first like 30 seconds. He's looking right at the at the plate. Or did he notice him and didn't care? Y'all know they got their little beef. But watch Steve Kerr this whole play. He hurt his ankle. 
Everybody on the bench starts to notice that he goes down, except for Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr is just watching the play, and then he's like, oh, that's Draymond. Both, both of them are great, and um, we're getting out pushing the pace. That's what our best. Thank you. What? <laughs> what was that sentence, bro? <laughs> he wanted to get in the locker room. All right, shout out to Go to Hoops, man. Shout out to Go to Hoops for the montage. It's pretty good stuff. If you enjoyed the video, as always, we said to leave it a like. Like I said, seven for seven. I, I promise y'all. And if I don't, will somebody get us some free cash?